Nubia builds a mid-range smartphone with a 3-day battery life, Alico shores up its LE2 after complaints of screen cracking, and DJI partners up with a Swiss firm to build a collision-proof drone. I'm Tim Chu and this is Tech China. Nubia has quietly released the Nubia N1 smartphone, which packs a 5,000 mAh battery, powering the ultra-efficient Helio P10 octa-core chip. Under the right operating conditions, the phone can be used for up to three days on a single charge. By comparison, the Samsung S7 has a 3,000 mAh battery, while the iPhone 6 is a little over half of that at 17-15 mAh. The N1 has 3GB of RAM and 64GB internal storage with the option of 128GB microSD extension, while a 13MP camera on the front and back. Our favorite function is the ability to capture super screenshots or screen cap videos with a long press. At $254, the 5.5-inch display N1 packs better cameras and battery life than the iPhone 6, which will set you back at least $700, while Samsung's newest flagship, the S7, is still retailing north of $650. Alico has redesigned and reinforced its LE2 chassis after persistent complaints of cracking sounds when users depress the display following its April launch in China and India. Despite its clean lines and amazing presentation, the display issue has been picked up by no small number of India-based bloggers. Alico said in a statement that click or creaking sounds were not a defect, but have taken steps to silence the screen taps. Technical Guruji has released drop and bend test videos following Alico's redesign with a 5.5-inch display, 3GB smartphone performing admirably in a range of drop tests along with a nail-biting bend test. The Snapdragon 652-64-bit octa-core processor phone, backed by a 3000mAh battery and 8 and 16 megapixel shooters, has been selling well in India where it's been retailing for $266. Finally, DJI's Lightbridge Image Transmission Suite has been incorporated into Flyability's industrial drone Helios, which is encased in a series of struts arranged in a spherical frame to serve as bumpers as the inspection drone navigates close in and confined spaces. The incorporation of Lightbridge is hoped to solve command control and image transmission issues when navigating in and around concrete and metal structures in a development which will reduce dangers workers face when inspecting hazardous environs. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for TechChina's review of a 3D printer fit for tots next week.